Hi, I'm Eric Meyer. I'm here at the Oxford Internet Institute with my colleague Ralph Schroeder. We're here to talk to you about one of the um, option courses we offer at the OII, Big Data in Society. Um, many of you will be choosing methods modules in your course that collect, manage, and analyze big data, but you'll also need to know the broader context of how that data is part of the larger ecosystem of knowledge, not only in academia, but also in business, government, and civil society. This course is the one that will help you understand that bigger picture of the roles the data has played and is playing in society. Okay, well, first of all, big data is a, a big hype word, but I think we want to get a bit beyond that. There are now so many studies that use big data, and the course will cover big data from many different domains. So we're going to look at health, we're going to look at government, we're going to look at humanities, we're going to look at all sorts of studies in policy making crisis response in the developing world, and so on. So those are some of the areas that we're going to cover. Um, as you probably know, there have been many, many studies uh, that use Twitter, that use Facebook, that use Wikipedia, and so on. And I think all those studies raise lots and lots of different questions. So for example, who's got access to the data? In Facebook and Twitter, that's a really big issue. In Twitter, uh, sorry, in Wikipedia, that may not be such a big issue. Or think again about the question of uh, ethics. Huge issues are raised there. There was a Facebook study which manipulated user feed. Those raised questions about not just ethics and privacy, but also of what big data is doing to society. Are these platforms able to exploit us in some ways and so on? So those are some of the questions that we're going to be looking at. Ethics, validity of the studies. Uh, access to data, and how researchers use them in lots of different ways across disciplines, of course. The other thing is that uh, big data is used across lots of different disciplines, sociology, political science, media studies, uh, medicine and health, and so on. And we're going to be looking at many, many of those. Students who are interested in not just the mechanics of big data, but in understanding the big questions of big data, I think really need to sign up for this course because you'll, you'll get some of that in the more uh, methods-focused courses, but this is the one opportunity to really grapple with those issues. And one of the things you'll be doing, of course, is writing an essay, a 5,000 word or so essay, that really digs into these issues and looks at a topic that, as of your choosing, that you'll, dis you'll choose in consultation with us, um, that you can dig into the uh, the benefits and drawbacks of the big data in that topic, the, the social, legal, and ethical issues, the consequences of using data in that setting. So I think this is really the place you can grapple with those bigger issues of what does big data mean and how can it actually be used in a variety of different um, contexts. Mm. I think to put it the other way around, on this course you won't have to do programming, you won't have to develop uh, your own way of uh, analyzing data, but what you will have to do is be ready to get into the nitty-gritty of some of the methodologies and the kind of techniques that people use and to take a bird's eye view of them. But another uh, uh, thing to mention here is what you'll gain from the course. And I think one of the things that this course is going to equip you with is we're going to look at the strengths and weaknesses of all these studies in all these different areas. So whether you're going to be a researcher in academia or whether you're going to be a professional who does data analytics, this course is really going to prepare you quite well for uh, working with big data and knowing all the ins and outs of uh, the research that's involved. The reason for studying big data in a social science department is that uh, there are lots of interesting things going on in the sciences and in health. There are also really interesting things going on in the humanities. But my view, and I think Eric shares it, is that some of the really, really exciting work is going on in the social sciences. And uh, social media platforms analysis, uh, scraping and analyzing data from the web and so on, these are some of the most exciting uh, advances in, in research in the social sciences. Not that there isn't research going on in other areas, but this is really an, a, a cutting edge area, I would say. And I think increasingly people are aware that you know, we all have our mobile phones that we carry around, we have our web browsers we use, we're leaving traces of what we do all over the place, your, your loyalty cards when you go and purchase something at a, super, at a supermarket. And these are not just ways of marketing to you, but they're also incredibly valuable social data about behavior. And more and more social scientists are being able to tap into these kinds of data to understand what people are doing and to be able to answer some of the big questions about human behavior.